where your music came from. Anybody know where we get our musical notes? Kepler and Kaiser did it. Can you erase that board? I want to draw this. This is exciting. The orbits of the planets and the formulas of the ratios of the planets is where we got our notes. C, D, E. Does that blow your mind? Did mine. I guess I'm easy to impress. <laughs> Here's the sun. The elliptical orbits, although the planet's orbits change, the farthest and the most nearest part to the sun stay almost exact. So here's the first planet. And they said, well, that's the ratio of one. Here's the second planet. That's the ratio of nine eighths to this ratio. The third one was five fourths, four thirds, three twos, five thirds, and 15 eighths. And this, if you start with the notes of 440, this is the note of C, D, E, F, G, A, B. The planet's orbits affect your brain waves. We just proved it. There's one problem with this idea. Delta actually has two octaves of sound. For normal brain wave patternization, one to three is delta. There's actually two octaves in there. And I started looking at this and I said, what would happen if we use these lower octaves that are non-sound? I say sub-audible sound, but that's kind of stupid because if it's sub-audible, it's not sound. So it's really sub-audible frequency. And I looked at this and started using sounds that were below normal hearing levels. In this alpha range, we found that we get an emotional response when we use frequencies in this range.